Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel GIP Medical Videos. I am Dr. Bharat Kesi and today we will be continuing the MCQ series on ENT of the topic ear, anatomy of ear. This is the part 6 video. Right? So uh, please keep focus and watch the video properly. So the commonest genetic defect of the inner ear causing deafness is option A, Michael aplasia, option D, Mondini dysplasia, option C, Seve dysplasia, option D, Alexander dysplasia. This question was asked in AIMS 2010. The correct answer is Seve dysplasia. Okay, Seve dysplasia. First of all, let's see in this picture. Okay, this is the normal development of the inner ear structure. Okay, inner ear structure. In this picture, we can see there is aplasia of. First of all, let's see this. This is superior semicircular canal, and this is lateral semicircular canal okay this is folds of cochlea in this picture there is aplasia of superior and lateral semicircular canal in this picture there are small boards of the semicircular canal okay in this picture there is superior semicircular canal but there is no uh, lateral semicircular canal so there is aplasia of lateral semicircular canal in this picture there is the formation of these canals but improperly so there is a dysplasia of superior and lateral semicircular canal and in this picture superior semicircular canal is formed properly but there is dysplasia of the lateral semicircular canals and it is the most common okay <clears throat> talking about these terms let's go through these terms first one was michael aplasia okay michael aplasia is complete labyrinthine aplasia there is complete absence of labyrinthine structure there is bilateral absence of differentiated inner ear structure with the resultant anarchosis resultant anarchosis okay Option B was Mondini dysplasia, that is one and a half coils of cochlea. Normal coils of cochlea is two and a half to two and a three by four coils of cochlea. So there is decreased coils of cochlea in the Mondini dysplasia. Option C was Seve dysplasia. Okay, Seve dysplasia means cochleosacular dysplasia. Cochleosacular dysplasia. And option D was Alexander aplasia, and it's the aplasia of the cochlear duct. It's the aplasia. Alexander dysplasia. Alexander dysplasia, it is the aplasia of the cochlear duct. Okay. Uh, uh, there are some tricks we can remember this in terms. Option B, there was Mondini dysplasia. Na? So Mondini is like Mundi, Mundi Hallana, Mundi Hallown. It's like something coil related to coil of coiling. No? So coiling. So there is decreased coiling of the cochlea in the Mondini dysplasia. So it's easy. And Seve dysplasia. Seve seems like Siva. No? Siva. Siva means God. Siva is so common to everyone. Everyone knows Lord Siva. So Seve dysplasia is the most common, most common defect, most common genetic defect of the inner ear causing deafness. And this Seve dysplasia is the dysplasia of this cochlear, cochlear and the sacular. Cochlear and sacular dysplasia. Okay. And last one was Alexander dysplasia. There is D in the Alexander, it's related to duct. Who is duct? It's cochlear duct. Okay. It's cochlear duct. And there is aplasia. So there is aplasia of the duct. It's cochlear duct aplasia. I hope it is easier now. You can mark the answer correctly with more confidence in your entrance examination. Okay. Now let's go to the next question. Skin over the pinna is option A, femur on the both sides, loose on the medial side, loose on the lateral side, and loose on both sides. Option B, loose on the medial side is the correct answer. The lateral skin on the pinna of the pinna is firmly attached, so it is more painful if any inflammatory process goes on on the lateral side of the pinna. Right? So, femur on the both side incorrect, loose on the medial side correct, loose on the medial side is incorrect, it should happen femur on the, on the lateral side, loose on the both side is totally incorrect. So, loose on the medial side and femur on the lateral side. Due to the femurness, there is more painful if any inflammation occurs, okay, if any inflammation occurs. Next question, the length of the external outer canal is 
ऑप्शन ए ट्वेल्व एम एम ऑप्शन बी ट्वेंटी फोर एम एम ऑप्शन सी थर्टी सिक्स एम एम ऑप्शन डी फोर्टी एट एम एम द करेक्ट एंसर इज ट्वेंटी फोर एम एम ओके दिस इज अ पिक्चर शोइंग द एक्सटर्नल ऑरिजिन कैनल द मिडियल टू थर्ड पर्सन ऑफ द एक्सटर्नल ऑरिजिन कैनल इज बोनी इज बोनी एंड द आउटर वन थर्ड ऑफ द एक्सटर्नल ऑरिजिन कैनल इज काटिलाजिनस टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस मिडियल टू थर्ड बोनी पार्ट द थीन स्किन ओवरलाइंग द ऑसियस कैनल इज इजिली ट्रामाटाइज ओके इजिली ट्रामाटाइज इजिली ट्रामाटाइज एंड दिस आउटर वन थर्ड काटिलाजिनस पोर्सन इज विथ हेयर फॉलिकल्स इज विथ हेयर फॉलिकल्स एंड दिस सेबेसियस एंड द कैरियोनस क्लैंड ओके दैट इज देर आर हेयर फॉलिकल्स ओनली ऑन द आउटर वन थर्ड ऑफ द काटिलाजिनस पोर्सन ऑफ द एक्सटर्नल ऑडिटरी कैनल ओके टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेप ऑफ द एक्सटर्नल ऑडिटरी कैनल इट्स एस सेप्ट इट्स एस सेप्ट ओके The similar question, the cartilaginous part of the external auditory canal is medial one third, lateral one third, medial two third, lateral two third. It's a very easy question. And the correct answer is lateral one third. Okay, lateral one third. Talking about this cartilaginous part of the external auditory canal, it forms the outer one third of the outer one third of the external auditory canal. Okay, external auditory canal. So. It is a twenty-four, so it's eight mm. Okay, it's eight mm. Okay, and there is a fissure or deficiency in the anterior part, known as the fissure of Santorini. Okay, through this superacted or through this superacted or the superficial mastoid infection can appear in the canal. Okay, and can appear in the canal and like vice versa. The skin covering is thick, thick and has the keratinous glands. Keratinous gland. This keratinous glands are modified apocrine sweat glands. Modified apocrine sweat glands. Okay, and it has pilosebaceous glands and it has hairs also. This keratinous and the pilosebaceous glands secrete the wax, wax. And talking about wax, it's the mixture of keratin, sebum, desquamated cells. Okay. Keratin, sebum, and desquamated cells. Okay, desquamated cells. CST. Okay, CST. Since hair is confined to the cartilaginous part, the furuncles are seen only in the outer third of the canal. Only outer third of the canal. Okay. Now, the keratinous glands present in the ear are option A, modified eccrine gland. Option B, modified apocrine gland. Option C modified endocrine glands. Option D modified apocrine glands. The correct answer is modified apocrine glands. Okay. There are three terms you have to understand. Okay. Apocrine versus apocrine versus eccrine. Okay. Eccrine. The apocrine glands. Secret their discharge while they are the correct answer is modified apocrine glands. Okay, we have to understand three terms: holocrine versus apocrine versus eocrine. The holocrine glands entire cell disintegrates while discharging its secretion. Okay, entire cell disintegrates. Example: sebaceous glands. Example is sebaceous gland. Okay, so sebaceous glands are holocrine in nature. Means while the sebaceous glands secrete the discharge, the whole of the cell disintegrates. Okay, the next term is apocrine. Apocrine. Only the Only the apex, apical part of the cell sets off while secretion. This is the picture shown of a crying nature. These are the, these are the cells. Okay, these are the glands, and only the apical part of this cell are setting off while discharging its secretion. Okay. Example is, example is this keratinous glands. Okay, keratinous glands. Okay. Next is 
Ukraine. Ukraine. Ukraine means <clears throat> the cells are intact. The cells are intact and the discharge are secreted through the exocytosis. This is the picture showing Ukraine. The secretions are through the exocytosis and the cells are intact. Okay, and the cells are intact. So Ukraine, these are sweat glands. These are sweat glands, okay. And so sebaceous glands are holocrine in nature and sweat glands can be ecrine, they can be apocrine. Now we'll differentiate between the ecrine and apocrine sweat glands. Okay, this ecrine sweat glands are much more common than the apocrine sweat glands. And apocrine sweat glands, apo means apical, okay, pica. Apo means apica. And sweat glands are mostly these apocrine sweat glands are mostly present in the armpit and the anogenital regions anogenital regions okay and this ecrine sweat glands are most abundant in the palms soles and the forehead palm sole and the forehead okay look at this picture look at this picture this sebaceous glands are attached to the hair follicle okay hair follicle and this apocrine glands are also attached to the hair follicle but this ecrine glands directly discharge their secretion in the outer skin directly they discharge without any hair follicle this is the difference okay talking about the structure of the ecrine sweat gland they are structurally simple simple cold tubular gland cold tubular gland okay and secretory part lies coiled in the dermis okay and talk opens in the pore at the skin surface at the skin surface okay 